What's up Aquarius, Veronica Ray here to do your timeless reading. So let's take a look and see what's going on in your world. All right, I'm using the Gilded Tarot Royale and if you'd like to buy this deck or any of the decks that are featured in this video, please check the description box below for the link to my shop, okay? All right, so timeless readings, it's whenever it resonates, if it hits, it hits. You'll usually know that this is your reading. Please leave me a comment in the box below. Hit me up with a purple heart if it does resonate, okay? All right, all Aquarian placements, I will leave that up to your discretion. And please do remember that these are general readings. Don't force the messages to fit. All right, Aquarius, what do we need to know? Ah, the Seven of Pentacles. I love this card. The Seven of Pentacles is gorgeous. It's really cool because there's a lot of growth here in this particular deck. I just like the way they portray it. Okay, especially with the Pentacles in the trees. So slow growing situation. You could be dealing with an earth sign. Ah, or a cancer or cancer season. We do have the Four of Cups and this Four of Cups is um, basically longing, hoping, wishing, praying, there's a lot of hard work that you might have put into something here, Aquarius, specifically with your career path or if you're an entrepreneur or if you're an inventor. I have a lot of hands-on type experimental stuff here with the Seven of Pentacles. You're on a path that's going to take a while to manifest though, just so you know. Um, but this is also kind of wanting bigger and better. So unfortunately, when we want bigger and better, when we want bigger and better, we have to wait. And that's what I'm saying. Okay, sorry for the blur on that, but what else do we have? Aquarius. <sighs> judgment in reverse. Okay, the judgment card in reverse here, Aquarius, is the opposite of the wake up call. It's ignoring it. I kind of get the idea that you're ignoring what's right in front of your face. Like my camera's ignoring what's right in front of it. <laughs> so essentially we have growth, we have progress, but we also have a wake up call that someone is not accepting or they're not accepting this offer that's right in front of their face. I mean, literally, um, here it is in the upright position just so that you guys can see it. I just kind of get the idea that, um, you know, this announcement or this wake up call could be happening really soon versus in, you know, down the line, okay? Let me see what else we have for Aquarius. So career matters and emotional matters does not have to be love related, but emotional. So it could have to do with your family or friendship. You know, pentacles often represent friendships to me, okay? Climbing over this wall that's been set for you. I kind of got that idea as well. Like a block of some kind. Ooh, the Six of Pentacles, it is reversed. Here it is in the upright so you get an idea, Aquarius, what this is. All right, giving, giving, giving. People wanting, wanting, wanting. Now you say, I'm done giving. I need to give to myself. You're gonna give to yourself physically, emotionally. <sighs> what are you doing though? There's, for some reason, it's not, the growth isn't happening fast enough for you or someone, I think you might be worried that someone's slowing down your growth at work, like you have a coworker that's kind of in the way, or you're just not getting the contractual agreements or the offers that maybe you thought was promised to you in the past. Some of you need to meditate on what you really want, because if you look, you've got these three cups here and you think this is gonna be so much better, or someone's trying to convince you of that. But in terms of, you know, career path, or if you're starting something new, just know that it's going to take quite a while to get there. Um, for me, I feel like you're already on the move. You've already, this could have been the last seven months of your life, if not at seven weeks of your life, but six to seven months of your life. But in reverse, the six of pentacles, which actually can represent Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or Libra. I get the idea that you just don't want to give to certain people anymore. The, the grabby hands, you know? Like, there may not be anything else for you to give them. Your emotions, you know, they're drained. And they're like, wait, 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 don't leave, don't leave. Don't leave the job. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't leave me. I think it's more about money, though. Here's a cup I have for you. I don't know, man. Let me see. 
what I really get here with this gimme, gimme, gimme kind of thing. I think that's what it is. I think you stopped giving and they're like tripping, whoever they are. They could be a company. They could be a group of people on social media. They could be your friends even. Ooh, you've got this, uh, this grand, grand signore, basically your emperor or the Mac daddy, like I like to call him. Uh, and a female friend, so. Oh, and the old woman or the old friend, the old female friend. You got a couple, you got a couple, they're not a couple, but they're not together. They're separate individuals, but you got a couple of old people, basically. Okay, much older to you. Much more experienced. This is a, a beautiful, auspicious card. This is someone that gives good advice. This could be an old friend or an older friend, female. And here's your masculine. So pick one. Not your love masculine. You also have the female friend as a representation, whether it is someone who's older to you or your age. Um, it's not going to be someone younger, for sure. It's not. So um, this could be an old friend, someone you haven't seen in a very long time. You're going to be surprised by this person. They're supporting you in some way. And um, let's say they are married. That's fine. Um, but this is someone either you've known for a long time or they've known about you. This is not bad. I think they're the one trying, one of them is, the man or the woman. They're trying to wake you up. They're trying to make you see something. I am getting that it's time to heal. So don't like, don't just wait around for the healing process to start. These are all people. Let me see at the bottom of the deck. Hold on. Uh-huh. Healing. Melancholy. So maybe you've been depressed or maybe they've been depressed and you're helping them heal basically. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Melancholy. So that's what that is. You got people that are willing to work with you and that's good news. Okay. So I'm going to see what else we need for Aquarius. Radiant, Rider, Wheat, Tarot, just so you know. All right. What else does Aquarius need to know? This is interesting. This is pretty standard for people in general right now. Everybody's trying to set those boundaries. Look, holy crap, we got it twice. Okay, this is what else we need to know. You're gonna turn down an offer during cancer season or from a water sign also during cancer season. Or someone's afraid to approach you because they're thinking you're going to um, reject them. Let me see what else we have for Aquarius. These are clarifiers. Okay. More water energy with the sign of Pisces. Although I'm really thinking it's not about signs. It's about you. It's not about, I mean, the other people could be an earth sign, a Libra or a water sign. Pick one or pick all three. But you have something that you have to let go of. Someone needs to let go of you is what I'm getting. I think someone's being rejected in a weird way, like quiet way. I don't see you being mean or, you know what I mean? I think you're just, just doing your thing, living your life. And they're feeling like, well, you're not including me. There's something like that. You're not including anybody. You're solo dolo. Look at that. The nine of pentacles is our Beyonce card. It's like that independent woman or independent person. If you're a man, doesn't matter. Uh, but this is nine pentacles. I will show this to you, all three cards. So independence, also Virgo energy, but very strong earth. So this is you being grounded. This is you rejecting offers that don't feel right. This is you saying, you know what? I don't need to think about this. I'm just doing it on my own. And the yellow in the background represents your third chakra. That is your everyday activities. Uh, yeah, I think you're doing quite well, but you are at the end of like earning potential doing one thing, which is why I think you're on the move. You're doing something else that will take some time to grow, but you are definitely gonna get there. Some of you are just done. You're just done doing this job. You're tired. They, they nothing to offer you. That's what I'm getting. Interesting. Okay, your next step with the after tarot. Let's see what's going on here. Aquarius, ooh, oh my goodness. Well, let's see, the man of the hour. <laughs> He's been popping up everywhere in all your readings today. Aquarius, who's this guy? King of Wands. 
I mean, flew right out the damn deck. Come on, your next step. You're gonna be working with someone. Very strong Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This is a creative dude. I told you in the other readings, please do watch them. Your general reading for July and your love reading for July. This King of Wands is not letting you go. Not. Even if you turn him down, listen, I'm gonna say it straight. He's got a hard on for you. And it's big. <laughs> this guy, um, he definitely, definitely has a lot of ideas. Um, that is the Sagittarius energy that has come through in the love reading. However, it can also be Leo or Aries, but this could be your energy if you're a man. So if you are an Aquarian man, holy shit, whoo wee. <laughs> what is going on? Oh. Hey, I'm also very familiar. It does look like you were entrapped mentally or in terms of communications. I think you're setting yourself free or you've got someone coming in to help. They're like, listen, we need to get you the fuck out of here. This ain't good. This is, we've got ideas for you. We got plans. I'm your partner in crime. I'm your, you know, creative partner. I'm your physical partner, you know, your sexual activity partner, whatever. You got someone getting you out of here or you're getting yourself out of here. And this is strong Gemini coming through as well as Virgo. You're being released. God, it feels like a damn prison. Let me see what's at the bottom of, oh, come on, oh, come on, oh, come on. Oh, my. you are being released from the motherfucking devil. Now, remember the devil comes through as everything you've always wanted. So use discernment, which I think you are. We definitely have masculine energy just hovering over fucking Aquarius. Uh, please do be careful, be mindful that they're not just making promises, but you are being released from a bad situation. So they don't have to be a fire sign. Uh, Capricorn came out at the bottom of the deck. What's behind it? Well, the sun. That's more fire. It's a very action-oriented reading today, Aquarius. Let me see what else we have. Who are we dealing with? Aquarius. This is a timeless reading, but I'm telling you now, with that king of wands, it is the king of sexy, the king of move, bitch, get out the way. I'm coming through. I'm coming through with my ace of wands, my loaded stick. I mean, this one means business. This one means business. What he is, he's the emperor in your life. Or you are the emperor in someone else's life. Look at that, Capricorn, first card coming through, second, Cancer, which we pulled, Cancer, Cancer season, and finally, we are getting Aquarius, so Aquarius, Cancer, and Capricorn, y'all got something going down, okay, as well as Libra, Taurus, Virgo, and any water sign, okay, all right, there's that, now, let's talk about separation. If you are in some sort of a love deal, you are in separation with somebody, you haven't spoken to them or they're coupled up, you're coupled up, there's a reason for the distance and it doesn't mean that they live far away, just there's distance here. We're gonna find out what do they wanna say to you? What do they wanna say to Aquarius? What's going on? Okay, we have cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over and over in your head. So what they want to say to you is either they think you're doing this too much, like this is old energy, or you're saying that to them, you think that they're doing this. It's like way too much. Hold on. The next card is clock. Interesting. With time, it says need time, takes time cycles time to heal we talked about healing earlier we have cassette and clock this is all about the past straight up like maybe you guys are both holding on to the way things were in the past Let's see if this will focus but anyway finally we have the snake oh lordy jesus <laughs> competition enemy someone that's clever malicious look over your shoulder or the other woman so this is what they want to tell you so perhaps you are the other woman, you don't know it. Or, and I've said this in the Aquarius reading for love, I think. Yeah, it was in the love reading. So you definitely, if you're in separation, you could be the other woman or there is another woman. Let's hold this up again, the snake. Or 
they're putting you in that place where you've become that person or you are uh, putting someone in that position where they're the other, it says woman, but it could be man, okay? Because they don't have the other man in this deck. Wow, bottom of this, kings on, keys on a ring. I said kings. That means there's more than one. <laughs> it says many options, decision, unconventional, stringing someone along, or a one night stand, so someone wants that, definitely. Your person is probably looking to have that with you, just to have it. So please watch that if that's not what you want. I'm not gonna judge you anyway, but if that's not what you want, it's, I'm being told. All right, we got the beautiful Tarot of Sexual Magic for Aquarius. What on earth do we need to know in your love life? Singles, couples, and betweeners, any other relationship we haven't spoken about does not have to be in separation. It could be anything at this point. So let's see what's going on with Aquarians and love. This came out in reverse, but it is the justice card. It is a huge decision. Divorce is becoming final, but in reverse, someone's on pause. Someone changed their mind. Um, for others of you, it's like if they wanted to divorce you, they changed their mind. Or if you wanted to divorce, somebody changed their fucking mind. Or someone wants to break up a partnership, a contract, or they're in a contract. It doesn't have to be a marriage. They're in some sort of contract. Okay. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Two people are definitely at a distance. They're not on the same page at all. Um, I'm hearing dreaming and wishing, hoping, praying, all that stuff. And so they're technically not even in the same room or this is how they feel about their partner or spouse. So we've got Libra. We've also got Earth again. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. What else for Aquarians? Okay, the, <laughs> Taurus. This came out in your other reading. And again, this is a different deck. So no matter what I do, the energy right now is screaming very strong Taurus and Libra today for you guys. This is also a narcissistic energy and I do feel like someone is not leaving you, not divorcing you. They're not leaving or divorcing your person, whatever it is. It looks like someone, I mean, this is narcissistic. And if you look, like they got two chicks, there's someone holding two somethings there and there's people not connecting. It just doesn't seem right. Earth again. And look, someone's trying to get the other's attention and they're very much focused on themselves and this is not necessarily arrogance. But we've got a Taurus Capricorn Virgo here. Now the queen was in reverse, so that can mean that it's a king. It's a masculine. Uh, this also was in reverse, so this is like the end of a marriage or it never happened. Oh yeah, see there's people, look at the people in the background. By the light of the silvery lies, <laughs> the moon, someone's at a distance as well and wants to tell the other person, look at the counterpart is coming through. With the king of pentacles, we have the king and the queen. Yeah, and look at how no one's connecting. So this could be you and your partner, or it could be um, your person and their partner. But uh, both cards came out reversed, so keep that in mind. This is a very strong judgmental counterpart, though. This is someone that demands respect, and then there's someone that's like trying to get the other's attention, and they're pissed. This is someone that is intimidating. Someone's being intimidated to stay in a partnership or a marriage, and definitely a contract is involved in this. So remember, apply it as it resonates for you. We have Scorpio energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have Libra. All of those energies are the same. Strongest Taurus, Libra, and even Scorpio. But the overall energy is like someone needs to get out of a situation. Oh my God. All right, let's take a look at the Chakra Wisdom Oracle deck. If you are cross-watching in Aquarius, this portion is not you. Not at all. So let's take a look at the Aquarian vibes. What's happening? What do we need to know? Mm -hmm. Some of you guys have met that person. You met them. This is your root chakra. You're grounding each other. You guys are, you have this knowing that this is it this time. I don't know why that's important to say. Perception, growth, perception. This is how it is. And finally, this one wants to come. Guilt, second chakra. So we have growth, 
we have a security, stability, and we have uh, guilt. So someone's feeling bad for abandoning someone or wanting to for a soulmate energy. So this is basically what you're focused on right now. Now that soulmate energy could actually be someone that's hurt you in the past and they feel guilty about it. They left you behind or they're afraid that you're not gonna forgive them. But like this is a nine of pentacles energy. Okay, and the guilt is about going out on their own or you going out on your own and really focusing on your, your personal growth and seeing things as they are. Your energy is actually good, but don't feel guilty. This person, listen, when it comes to soulmate vibes or actual, actual soulmates, they don't go away. I always say if there's a choice between me and money, pick money. If it's real love, I ain't going anywhere and neither are you. So pick the fucking money, right? This is the counterpart. This is, you know, I, I don't like being cheesy, but there it is, the other half. Some of you don't think that, I don't really think that, but that's what people say. So this is what that energy represents. However, because of this, the fact that I pulled that Nine of Pentacles earlier, this is kind of me saying someone's going off on their own to take care of themselves for growth, for finances, and they're worried, they're feeling guilty for leaving their, their person behind, but you have to. Sometimes that's what we need to do to move forward. That's the way it is. All right. <laughs> Aquarius, I'm gonna pull a special card since it is an Aquarius only channel. Romance, angels, oracle cards. What is the advice for Aquarians in love? Okay, very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you. So if you're wishy-washy, whether you're married, you're coupled, you're dating, whatever the fuck you got going on, um, you're single, you need to know what the hell you want. And the bottom of the deck here has you deserve love. You know, Aquarius, you have a big problem with accepting compliments. You have a problem with believing true love exists. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> but with the very soon and that you deserve love it's like listen there's some shit coming for you around the corner and it's got diamonds in it like it's good stuff stop freaking out if you are single you might not want to be single but you have like a weird attitude let me pull one more if you are coupled or in any kind of a commitment no matter how many people are in it what else is there for you guys Oh, time apart from your partners on the horizon. Now, this is not a divorce or severing of ties. If you look, these two people do not want to be separated. So, it's like maybe someone's traveling, maybe someone's leaving for work, leaving the country, the state, the province, whatever. You guys don't want to be apart is what I'm getting. So, very good. All right, Aquarius. Thank you so much for being here with me. If you want to support the channel, feel free to like, share, subscribe. Definitely drop me a purple heart and a comment. If any of this resonates, please let me know what does resonate for you. And remember, it is a timeless reading, so it may not resonate right away. But generally, you'll have an idea if this is your reading. So thank you guys so much.